The app TikTok is gaining popularity and now it is being used by scammers to gain your personal information. Tonight, CBS 17's consumer investigator Steve Sprecia tells us what you can do to avoid being a victim. It's a text message that can alter your life. It arrives mixed in with other important messages. Then you get another. And another. A minute later, yet another message. All of them saying you need to click on them to verify your TikTok account. The problem is, they come from different phone numbers, and none of the originating phone numbers are the same. Complaints are now flooding the Internet with people saying they're getting unsolicited TikTok codes, even though they've never used the app. Others saying that they're getting messages from TikTok several times a week. So... What's going on here? Well, TikTok's been in the news a lot lately. First, because the president says he wants it banned, and then with reports that Microsoft is trying to buy it. And the scammers, well, they're playing off that notoriety. These criminals are fishing by hitting you up with multiple messages over and over again. They're hoping that you'll bite. And if you click the link, they've got you. So if you get an unrequested verification code, that is a red flag. There are many scams out there regarding the use of fake verification codes that lead to links asking you for passwords and other personal information. Once criminals have that, you're open to something called credential stuffing. The scammers then sell your info to hackers who buy someone's stolen login and password from the dark web. They then see if that combo gets them into online accounts. It's easy for criminals because most of us never change our passwords. If I've got your username and password from five years ago, I probably have your username and password today. And that's not the only scam involving TikTok that criminals are using. More than a half dozen have been identified, everything from blackmail to online dating traps. I've included a link to help you figure out what they are in today's web story. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.